so in this video we will see how you can use images in your react native app if you want to display any images uh, then how you can do it we are going to learn that in this video so create a project and open it in visual studio code you can also uh, preview the output on ios simulator or android simulator i have already opened the ios simulator and the app is running okay so first of all in order to display image component you, you need to import image now just write image it's a self-closing element and the image that you want to display you also need to import that i have already import one image here in the assets folder you can also import the image in the assets folder it will take one argument called source require now we define the path where is our uh, image is located so image is in assets and it's called marvel extension is jpg So as you can see the image is uh, visible over here you can also provide some style elements i have already created one image margin horizontal is 40 so let me just wrap it in a view component as you can see this is how you can apply styling so this is the basic method how you can display the images on your app but uh, you can also display images dynamically um, uh, on some activities you can assign that image displayed dynamically you can change the image within the press of button or scroll down or scroll up etc so to learn that we will uh, use a dice app we will we will be creating a app in which user press on a button and it and randomly generate numbers from one to six so you can use it as a dice so in order to do that first of all we need images from one to six here i have images of one to six you just need to import that in assets folder 3 these 4 5 and 6 so we have all 6 images here as you can see so let us first create uh, a variable so which will be stored in which we will be storing the random number from 1 to 6 let's call it dice set dice use state let me set it to 1 by default okay so now we will be creating an object which uh, uh, consist of all the six images so we can cycle through randomly through that array let's call it images it's an object in which fix is a key it's also an object require the path one dot extension is jpg so this is for one image we need six of that okay so this is for one Yeah. 
so we have total six images zero to five and each represent the uh, specific number from the dice so we have created a variable in which we will be storing the random dice number and an object uh, which is an array of all the six images so now here we'll use the image component source now we do not need to write require because we have already specified this in our object so images dot fix is our error and which and the random number which will be stored in the dice if i press save you can see we have uh, two visible here because by default we have provided one and the one image represent the two on the number of dice now let us create a button let us name it a roll this is self closing element as you can see now let us create an on press event an arrow function so whenever user press uh, on this roll button we have to generate one random number between the one to six so for that set dice to uh, set the variable to a random number we'll be using math dot flow math dot random now random function will generate random number between 0 to 1 0 is inclusive and 1 is exclusive so we will be multiplying these 6 so we will be getting random number between 0 to 5 let's press save okay so roll as you can see the number will be uh, must be 0 that's why we getting 1 it's 6 that's uh, be, this is because we are getting the random number 5 so this is how you can dynamically change the images on button press and this is our small dice app so thanks for watching this